Does restless leg syndrome exist? Absolutely it does. And you probably thought I was gonna say unlikely, didn't you? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health. Restless leg syndrome is a better and better defined now neurologic condition. It's mostly a condition of the brain. And we think it's a condition of the brain that links to poor metabolism of iron or iron deficiency or low iron levels in the brain. So it's really the parts of the brain that feel the legs more so than the legs themselves, although there could be some issues with nerve conduction coming up from the legs into the brain. Restless leg syndrome is defined by the International Restless Leg Syndrome Study Group as having the following features. Number one, a person with restless legs has the urge to move their legs or, or body part. The symptoms must occur at nighttime or be worse at nighttime and better at other times of the day. Number three, the urge to move may be relieved by the movements themselves. And uh, these movements are typically triggered or exacerbated by not moving or being at rest. So this is a well-defined condition, both in terms of the symptoms, which are very classic, but also the biology uh, autopsy studies of uh, people with restless legs show that there are uh, low iron levels of the brain. Uh, many of the genetics that put people at risk for restless leg syndrome are uh, related to a chemical called dopamine and also iron within the brain. And in people with these, what are called single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs tend to have restless legs more and restless leg syndrome runs in families. There even is a physical phenomenon, an objective phenomenon that you can see on sleep studies where maybe 80 to 90% of people with restless legs have what are called periodic limb movements in sleep, where we could see on a sleep study that their legs, the muscles of their legs move every say 20 to 40 seconds. Now these periodic limb movements do not mean that an individual has restless legs. In fact, probably 60% of people with periodic limb movements do not have restless legs, but this is just another feature that most people with restless legs have. So restless legs is a neurologic condition, has significant impact on many individuals and should not be taken lightly. As always, this video is for general medical information only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine. All medical decisions should be made under the supervision of a licensed medical provider. And as I like to say often, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.